In this video I'm gonna test the thermals of the 9800X3D using an air cooler, in this case Thermalite Phantom Spirit 120SC, the non-RGB version, and an Arctic Liquid Freezer Free 240 ARGB AIO using stock settings and overclocked as well. The Phantom Spirit 120SC is an affordable air cooler that has good performance. It comes at a height of 154 mm, so it can fit in most PC cases out there. It's equipped with two 120 mm fans of 25 mm thickness that can reach speeds of around 1500 rpm and has seven heat pipes. When it comes to the Arctic Liquid Freezer AIO, this is the 240 version, one that is compact and easy to install in most cases out there. I say most cases because the radiator thickness is 38 mm, while the majority of the AIOs out there are around 27. This ARGB version comes with two Arctic P12 ARGB fans with a top speed of around 2000 RPM, are 25 mm thick and the pump speed goes up to 2800 RPM. This AIO is backed by a 6 year warranty. In my opinion, this is very important for AIOs, but not so much for air coolers. I chose these two for the comparison, as I think these are budget oriented, and people will often wonder if it's better to go with an air cooler instead of a 240 AIO, or the other way around. I overclocked the 9800X3D through Precision Boost Overdrive, set the CPU curve to negative 30 and increased the maximum frequency by 200 MHz. For stress testing the CPU, I'm using Furmark's CPU burner. I'm letting the CPU stress test running for 10 minutes before starting the login process. After I'm logging the stats using Hardware Info 64 for another 10 straight minutes and I repeat the process for 3 times. Before we start, let me explain how I decided on the silent settings. I want to mention that I don't have a tool to measure the noise level and my PC is less than 1 meter away, that is 3 feet from me. So I've set some fan speeds that are not producing much noise, at least to my ears. The front intake fan speed is set to 55% while the AIO's pump is running at 100%. The air cooler's fans are running at 75%, this means a bit above 1200 RPM. When it comes to the AIO fans, the Arctic P12 that I have produce a humming sound when I go above 55% fan speed, this means above 1200 RPM, until I hit around 70%. At 70% I start to hear the air moving, so I settled on 55%. When we look at the 9800X3D thermals using the silent settings, we see that the water cooler enjoys a small wind with a difference of almost 1.5 degrees Celsius. This difference is minimal and the 9800X3D is easy to cool. Using the same fan settings on the overclocked CPU, we see temperatures jumping above 85 degrees, but here the water cooler shows its strength, keeping the 9800X3D 2.6 degrees cooler. Both are below the 95 degrees thermal throttle limit, so all good at around 24 degrees room temperature. Now let's move to full fan speed for both coolers, including as well the intake fans. As we can see, the thermals drop by around 5 degrees for the water cooler, while for the air cooler it drops by less than 2 degrees. This means that if you will use stock settings, there is no need to use maximum CPU fan speed for this CPU. It's a cool one. When overclocking the CPU, we can see that there is a 5 degrees difference between the coolers, with the air cooler sitting at a bit above 85 degrees at room temperatures of around 24 degrees. Both coolers are more than capable to keep the CPU cool even in warmer months, at least at full speed. Let's analyze now the clock speeds. As the CPU sits way below the thermal limit, there is no clock speed difference, and the same applies to the overclocked CPU settings. It's not thermotrotling, so the clocks are similar between the coolers. So, what does the extra clock speed mean when it comes to power usage? As it can be seen, the extra thermals and speed when overclocking are due to an almost 30 watt power consumption increase. There are a few things to mention. While the CPU is easy to cool at stock, when overclocked I would advise to do some testing and see where you stand with your cooler when it comes to thermals. 
For example, setting the fan speed to 55% for this air cooler, this means below 1000 RPM, the CPU was hitting the 95 degrees limit and it was thermal throttling. Another thing that I want to mention is about overclocking. Using PBO, you can gain a maximum of 200 MHz, so I tried to increase the bus speed to gain more MHz. I increased the bus speed by 0.5 MHz and gained around 25 MHz more, the limit now being 5452 from 5425 with the 100 MHz bus speed. This increased the power consumption by around 15 watts, so I would advise to stick with overclocking obtained through PBO, as messing with the bus speed doesn't lead to a significant clock bump. And that's it for this video. The 9800XVD is easy to cool, as opposed to the 7800XVD. The changes that AMD did are great, to be honest. If you found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.